Hi, in this tutorial on Geopack, I'm going to show you how to create a tool like this zip generator. Here, we'll see how to create your own pack, create a modifier, and export everything to share with the community. The goal is for you to be able to do whatever you want with these packs, share them, or even sell them. Users just need to install Bagapi which is completely free. Geopack will create a pack of modifiers, allowing you to export it and have anyone install it in Bagapi. Technically, it's not an add-in, but it works and looks like one for users and it allows you to avoid coding and to facilitate the use of your tree notes. We'll start with the assumption that your node tree is ready, like shown here. First, we'll create a pack. Packs group together modifiers. Go to Preferences, Add-ins, Bagapi, Geopack, Create New Pack. You need to at least name your pack. The rest is optional and will appear in the info section of the pack. Note that you won't be able to modify the pack information later on. Once the pack is created, it appears in the list of packs. You can access its information, the list of modifiers it contains, and configure the asset library in the assets section. Go back to the viewport, select the object with your node tree, and select the modifier in the modifier stack there's a slight border around the selected modifier. To create the modifier, you can go through the end panel if you use nodes to panel or through Bagapi's Pi menu. Press J greater than new Geo Pack modifier. First, you need to specify which pack to add the modifier to. In this case, it's the zip generator pack we just created. Like the pack, you must name your modifier by default, we use node tree name. The rest is optional and will appear in the modifier details. Next, we'll move to the usage section, which is the most important. Here, we'll define when our modifier will be accessible. For example, if I set active object must be to mesh and the user selects a curve, the modifier will be grayed out. Then, you can define custom actions when adding your modifier. There are many possibilities, and if you want new ones, don't hesitate to let us know. In my case, I want the user to select a mesh to use this modifier. I also want the selected objects to be linked to a new collection called zip target and have this collection set in the input v target. This modifier also needs to be assigned to a curve, so I've set active object must be to none, allowing me to create a new curve object. I also want to automatically switch to curve draw mode. At the bottom of the panel, there's a summary of what will happen if you have any doubts. You can find this summary in the modifier details in the preferences. Confirm, and there you have it. The modifier is now visible in the pack. Note that we are currently limited to 32 modifiers per pack, but we will, of course, increase this limit in future updates. Now we can export everything. This creates a geopack file containing all your modifiers and their info, as well as assets if you've configured the asset library. Anyone can install this file, as long as they have Bagapi. Let's test our pack. I'll delete the existing version of the pack. Be careful, this will delete the entire Geopack folder and its contents. This action is irreversible and final. Make a copy if you're unsure. In the storage section, you'll find a way to access your pack's location. Now, install your pack. If you've set up the asset library, a library will automatically be created and configured for the asset browser upon installation. All that's left is to test it. Press V, and you can see that our pack and our modifier are there. For more details, don't hesitate to check out the documentation. This project is 100% free, and we can afford to keep it that way thanks to the sale of our assets, so feel free to take a look. In any case, we're excited to see what will be created with Geopack, so don't hesitate to send us your results. Enjoy!